Hello! Welcome to the singular Hot Mess Mountain Mama. I really wish it was Hot Mess Mountain Mamas. Um, Jackie and I were planning on actually getting together today and putting together an episode, but uh, they had a family emergency. So we really wanted to get back up and running after the busy holiday season and didn't want to leave you guys hanging too long wondering, where are they? Are they even going to do this? Yes. Yes, we are. We are going to do this. We've just been a little bit of a hot mess. So I um, just wanted to hop on and see if people have actually, like, if y'all made goals for this season. Um, if you planned to uh, make some changes in your diet or in um, maybe how you do things or how you plan things. And um, I know for a lot of people, they get to the end of January and it's like all bets are off. Like for a lot of us, we're like, forget it. Just going back to the way things are. And really, this is probably the time that you need to work to stick to some of those goals. Now, sometimes you need to scale them back because if you're anything like me, you like put your goals way up here and you're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Like you have goals for every single area of your life. And the fact of the matter is, is you don't have time to do every single one of those goals in the month of January. And so it's actually a really smart idea to pick one thing. Just pick one thing and work on that. Sometimes you can pick two. Like some of my goals that I've done pretty well on so far is keeping up on laundry. Um, I do still have a load that I need to put away. But normally there's like four or five loads or it's like overflowing into the hallways and into the bathroom like so it's not doing that so that's encouraging one of my other health goals that I was hoping to pick back up was actually heading to the gym and exercising with the ladies and which includes Jackie and some of the other local ladies here in Lake City you know who you are and we decided to let Cora do basketball this season what I didn't realize is that well, that was going to take up a lot of time <laughs> of driving back and forth, of going to games, whether they're away games or um, at home games. Either way, I was like, I, I, I can't, I can't pick up working out right now. It's just not, it's just not possible for me to be able to go to the gym and do that and get that taken care of. So that has kind of been tabled. Next week, they have their tournament. Like, next week is it. Like, then they're done with basketball. So, then I will bring exercise back onto the table. So, that is one of our other, our other goals. And besides some of my business goals, um, I, you know, you should always be just re-looking at it and reevaluating it. And there are going to be times that you don't reach your goal, or that you don't reach the mile marker that maybe you've put in place. You're like, okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to reach this, or I'm going to do this. More often than not, we're probably not going to reach that goal. And that's okay. Um, what's good is to, is to note that sometimes for me, it's a realistic, like, wake up call of like, hello, you can't really do 10 million things in one day. Like, it's just not possible. So sometimes for me, it's a good wake up call whenever I'm like, well, I'm going to work out and then I'm going to like home cook all the meals and I'm going to make sure that I take care of this in the greenhouse today. I'm going to make sure that I clean this up, to out, this up outside today. I'm going to get all this laundry to come and I'm going to make sure my house is clean. And I'm going to make sure this, I'm going to make sure that who has that many hours in a day to do all of those things. So for me, sometimes when I don't reach a goal, it's a good wake up call and it's a good way for me to turn around and look back and go, what, what was I trying to do and what do I need to just get rid of and not do anymore? <laughs> like, what are the important things to me? So here's my encouragement to you. Grab a piece of paper, maybe write down the things that are important to you that you want to make sure you do and make sure that you get done. And then I want you to number them. Okay, I want you to label them. This could be things like, um, you know, cooking healthier meals, uh, exercising three to four times a week, 
keeping up on my laundry, like spending time with each kid intentionally throughout the month, um, spending intentional time with my husband. Uh, let's see here, uh, having a consistent quiet time, like making sure I'm in the word every single day, uh, making sure, you know, it's just like, those are all those little things. Okay. I want you to write them all down. It could be as simple as even as making sure I'm drinking water every day or this amount of water every day. Okay, cool. I'm going to cut back on coffee. Okay. Write all those things down. Then what you're going to do is you're going to prioritize them. So you're going to number them one through however many you have. So like for me, my number one would be making sure I have my quiet time with the Lord every single day, which at this point for the last two or three years, barring sickness that has kept me in bed, I have done that. That has become a consistent habit for me because several years ago, I just decided this is important enough. Nothing else matters. I have to get my time in with the Lord. And so I kind of just, I just made it happen. It didn't matter what time I got up. It didn't matter if it was eight o'clock and the kids were hungry. I'd be like, listen, I need 15 to 20 minutes of silence. Then I will come and feed you. Okay. And now it's like, now that it's a habit and I'm getting up at a consistent time, I don't have those days anymore, but that's what it was for me. It was like, it doesn't matter what time it is. It doesn't matter when I got up. It doesn't matter that all these other things need to be done. All those other things can wait 15 to 20 minutes because I need my time with Jesus. If those things are going to live, <laughs> that was really what it was. So number all those things and then pick the top three and maybe those top three. So maybe you're like time with the Lord, time with my husband, drinking water. Okay. Maybe those are your three and that's what you focus on for the next say two, three weeks. That's all you do. So for the, for the month of February, okay. Cause February is not, I was turning around to see my calendar was there and you could see it. Do you see my calendar? Um, no. <laughs> um, for the next three weeks, just focus on those three things. Get those three, three things ingrained into your, um, habit forming, forming habits. I can't think of the right word. If Jackie was here, she probably could help me. That's too bad. She's not here. So focus on those three things, create habits with them, maintain those habits with them. Once, I mean, and if you're like, if you get to the end of this month, if you get to the end of, the, of February and you're like, oh, look at this, like I've been having my quiet time. I have consistent time with my husband. I, and, and you, you, you've got to decide that you got to break that down too. Like, does that mean I get time with him every day? Just talking. Does that mean we have a date night every week? Does that mean we have an in-home date night? Like, what does that look like? Does that mean we have coffee in the morning? My husband's not usually up early enough. So for us, it's afternoons when he gets home from work. I would love to be able to carve out that time again. We were doing it this last summer. I would love to carve out that time again and go, we are going to sit down and just sit together, talk about whatever we want to talk, um, talk about. There is this great, um, uh, page to follow on Instagram. It's called uh, kingdom sexuality. And every week they put out, um, connect questions. And there's lots of other like marriage related pages on Instagram that do the exact same thing that are like, ask your, you know, husband or wife, duck, duck, duck. and they are just amazing. Like if you just sit down and you're like, you work through the questions. Now, sometimes you're like, we already, we don't need to talk about that one. Okay, fine. Like skip it, move on to the next one. But that is, those are the details you want to think through. So if you get to the end of the month, your month and you're like, Sweet. Get my time with the Lord. Get my time with my husband. I have been drinking water on a consistent basis. And let me tell you, if you're drinking water on a consistent basis, you're going to feel way better. And so you get to the end of the month and you're like, oh, all three of those things. Sweet. If you're anything like me, you might be like, oh, okay, so I got some time in with the husband, but it wasn't real consistent. It could be better. Sweet. Then just put that up, like keep that at the forefront of your mind then. And then what you can do, if you're like, I've gotten my time in with the Lord, husband could be better. Water's okay. Like then keep those two on your March list and add the next thing. Like maybe the next thing is I want to exercise consistently. Okay. So then add that next thing to March. 
okay? And you just slowly add those things, form those habits, okay? Don't try and do it all at once because we all know that that does not work. Um, and you will actually probably be really surprised. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention before I let you guys go, I know this is going to be super short, but just trying to get us all back into a swing of things here is you more than likely will have setbacks. Okay. Something's going to happen. Um, emergencies are going to come up just like what happened with Jackie and how they've had a family emergency. We had this plan. We were like, we're going to start back up the hot mess mountain mamas. We're going to start doing our episodes and it's going to be awesome. And then the family emergency happened. You're, you're going to have setbacks and you almost have to plan for those. You almost just have to expect those like, yeah, there's going to be setbacks. So you know what? I'm going to plan for it. And so for me, it was Jackie texted me and she's like, we cannot meet. We have an emergency. And I was like, okay, I almost bailed on y'all. <laughs> so I'm really glad that I didn't, but I almost did. And then I was like, no, this is, this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about is that we're going to have these setbacks. We're going to have these times where we're like, forget it. I'm just not even going to try anymore. I'm just, ugh, I'm so over it. Like I'm so over trying to make this happen and it's so good and I want to make it happen, but I'm tired of trying to make it happen. Sometimes you just got to do it. You just, you just got to pick yourself back up and you just got to do it. So that is why my hair is just a little frizzy, frizzy. I have got wool all over me because we've been like trying to finish our sheepskins. Um, I kind of smell a little bit like sheep. So here we are. Here I am with you guys, the hot mess mountain mama that I am, wishing that I was with Jackie, that we were here, and I really miss her a lot, and I know that you guys are probably missing her too, um, and so just be in prayer for her and her family, um, and that would just be much appreciated, and I'll let her share um, more when she gets the opportunity to get the chance, so that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Lord willing, Jackie and I will be back next Saturday. Um, it'll be both of us. You won't just have me. And we will be sharing from our hearts again and hopefully encouraging you guys and giving you guys um, just maybe some tools and some help and some encouragement or just a laugh <laughs> to know that you're not the only one. So there are other hot messes out there. And so we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking with us. And we do have some exciting things coming your way as well. So we will talk to you next Saturday.